Aloha and welcome to the Savvy Luminary, an astrology podcast for entrepreneurs. I'm your host, Leslie Tagorda, a brand astrologer, designer, and spiritual business owner who has helped hundreds of businesses and nonprofits go from stuck to unstoppable. I am here to inspire you to make confident and focused moves that shine the light on your business through astrological insight, brand strategy, and interviews with other spiritual business leaders. I believe you are here to share your magic and shine brightly like the luminary you are meant to be. Okay, let's dig into this week's episode. Phew, so if you are surviving all of this chaos, let's look at the astrological highlights for entrepreneurs for the week of March 22nd through March 28th, because there are some more intensities coming up after our cosmic shift of going into Aries season, of Saturn going into Aquarius, there is more to come. So you're probably already feeling it because Mars has been forming in exact conjunction with Pluto, but Mars and Pluto connect exactly on Sunday, March 22nd, or Monday, March 23rd, depending where you're living. And this is really an intense time. Mars already is has this ability to take action and take initiative at its highest level, but at its shadow level, it's really kind of angry. And Pluto is just exacerbation of all that. Pluto takes everything to even more extremes. So Pluto is the planet of transformation, and Pluto can turn fears into phobias. It can turn anger into violence, right? If we don't keep and handle on this. So if we can learn to channel this potentially volatile energy, we can accomplish amazing, great things. There's so many powerful people that have this natally. You know, you could be somebody sinister and use this energy powerfully, or you could be somebody who's wonderful and being really mindful and intentional of everything that they are doing. So For us collective, because this is, this transit is happening to all of us, I hope that you will be able to focus all of your energy for the greatest good of all. Let's not kind of promote this wildfire energy from Jupiter being exact with Mars last week. So there's all this potential for Jupiter and Mars and Pluto to kind of like get everything out of hand. But if we can be grounded and centered and channel all of this potential energy and use it as the blowtorch and tool that it is meant to be, one for good, not for bad. We talked earlier about the new moon in Aries that's happening on Tuesday, March 24th. It happens at Eastern time exactly at 5.28 a.m. and Pacific time at 2.28 a.m. This is time, as I mentioned earlier, to set our self-leadership intentions while also not jumping to conclusions when our deepest wounds are triggered. I'm mentioning that because at the time of the new moon conjunction, the sun and the moon are conjunct, that's what creates the new moon, it is one degree away from Chiron. Chiron represents our wounded healer. And if you look in the show notes, I will have not only the prompts listed, but I will also have the chart for the new moon in Aries. You're going to see that we have so many planets still piled up in Capricorn. We have the Capricorn stellium. We have Mars, Pluto, and Jupiter. And gratefully, this intense energy of the, the new moon, sun and moon next to Chiron is forming a square with our Jupiter and Pluto and and Mars in Capricorn, but we have a little bit of reprieve because the planet Venus, our goddess of connection and peace, is forming a harmonious trine with that Capricorn pileup. So she will be holding a little bit of space for peace for us. So hopefully we can contain this wildfire energy with a little bit of connection and love and peace and diplomacy for each other. 
Which brings us to the last big event, cosmic event for this week, which is Venus trines exactly with Jupiter. Again, Venus has already been kind of in a wide trine with Jupiter and it's moving in close to Jupiter and exactly on, um, depending on where you are, either on March 27th or March 28th in the, in the late hours on Friday or Saturday, Venus will be trining Jupiter. You can again go to my show notes to get that exact time, but this is a time to be grateful and to connect with what we already currently have, right? In this time of chaos. This is a chance for some reprieve. This is a beautiful earth sign transit we have where we can be optimistic about what we have and about our future. And remember, Venus is the planetary energy of connection. So when I say we are all in this together, this is the perfect symbolism for all of us to be grateful for what we currently have, to share and to work with each other, to help each other so that we all come out of this together safely and for the better. Remember, you're not alone. I would love to see you in my free Facebook group, The Savvy Luminary. It's a safe online space for visionary entrepreneurs to connect, to share their businesses, challenges and wins, and to share their unique wisdom. Hop over to the Facebook group, The Savvy Luminary. That's all I have for this week. I'll see you next week with our guest interview, the superstar astrologer from Soul Shine Astrology, Natalie Wallstein. See you then. Bye. Mahalo for listening to this brand new podcast. If you enjoyed learning about astrology for entrepreneurs, help me spread the word by sharing this podcast with your business besties and hop over to The Savvy Luminary for links to episode notes and our free Facebook community where you can send me questions about astrology or branding as well as connect with other like-minded businesses. 